In this exercise, imagine that you are a GIS technician working for a city planning department. You've been asked to set up a service where the public is provided with a list of parks in their neighborhood. You decide to set this up using the FME Server Notification Service. First, we'll create topics. In your web browser, navigate to the tutorial server. Log in with the same credentials to, as before. Tutorial username, truth and beauty for the password. Click on the Create Notification button. This opens the parameters for the notification service. Click on the Topics tab. A topic is a theme or subject of notification. We'll need to create two topics, one for incoming messages and one for outgoing. Click the New button. Create a topic with the name, your name, followed by incoming. It's important to use your name to create a unique topic name. Otherwise, you'll get alerts from other users' notifications. Click OK to create the topic. Now click the New button again and create a second topic called Your Name Outgoing. Scroll down and click OK. We now have two new topics our new incoming topic and our new outgoing topic. The next step is to create a publication. Click on the Publications tab, then click New. Enter a name for the publication. Type in your name dash publication. The topic to publish is your incoming topic. For protocol, select email. SMTP. Enter your name for the username. What this means is that the incoming topic that you created will be triggered when you send an email to your email account on this FME server. Click OK. Next we'll create a subscription. Click on the subscriptions tab. We will duplicate an existing one. Locate server tutorial slash subscription and make sure it's checked. Click the duplicate button. Now enter your name dash subscription for the new name and for the topic to subscribe to enter your name dash outgoing. The protocol settings have been copied over from the existing subscription. We'll need to re-enter the password The email to can be your email address. I'll leave it as is. And then click OK. What this means is that the topic, your name dash outgoing, when triggered, will cause an email to be sent to you. Next, we'll set up a workspace to interact with the newly created notification. Open FME Workbench. Open an existing workspace and select exercise 5a-begin.fmw. This workspace reads an email and uses the subject line of the email to filter a set of neighborhood features. A clipper transformer is used to determine which parks are located inside or overlap the chosen neighborhood. We'll publish this workspace to FME Server. Next, we'll set up a workspace to interact with the newly created notification. Open FME Workbench. Open an existing workspace and select Exercise 5a-begin.fmw. This workspace reads an email and uses the subject line of the email to filter a set of neighborhood features. A clipper transformer is used to determine which parks are located inside or overlap the chosen neighborhood. We'll publish the workspace to FME Server. Click File, Publish to FME Server. 
enter the URL and the credentials, then hit Next. Rename the workspace to your name-notifications. Next, click on Select Files. We're going to select the files to be uploaded to the FME Server repository. Keep all of them selected except for the email.json file. There is no need to do the email.json file as its contents will come from a notification email. Click OK. And then click Next. The final step is to register what services to record the workspace against. We'll keep Job Submitter and Notification Service checked. Click the Edit button next to Notification Service. The subscribed topic will be Your Name dash incoming. Click on the Browse button and select that topic. The notification data email can remain email text line. Under Advanced, notice we've got our notification content format and then our username and password for the FME server. Expand Notify on job completion. The topic you're going to post to on success is your email dash outgoing topic. Click that and hit OK. We'll stick with the defaults for the rest of the parameters. Click OK and then publish to FME server. So far what we've done is we've created a notification system. We've created FME server topics to handle incoming and outgoing notifications. We've created an FME server publisher and subscriber to trigger topics. And we've published a workspace to use the notification service. Let's now test our notification system. First, we'll set up topic monitoring. Click on the topic monitoring tab. Its current status is stopped. Click on the start monitoring button. We will monitor two topics, our incoming and outgoing topics that we set up earlier. Notice topic monitoring is now waiting for notifications. We'll now send an email to trigger our workspace to run. The subject line of the email should be the name of a Vancouver neighborhood. Back in the notification screen of our FME server web interface, check out what's happened in the topic monitoring tab. Our first notification came from our incoming topic. So when the email arrives, our publisher triggers this incoming topic. This is shown here in the monitoring page. The, upload work, the uploaded workspace then runs because it was tagged to listen for our incoming topic and searches for parks in the neighborhood specified in the email subject line. When it completes, it triggers the outgoing topic. And here's our notification from our outgoing topic, returning a list of parks in the downtown neighborhood. Our subscription now starts and sends an email out with the results of the workspace. That email is seen here. So this has come from a Gmail account we've set up and it contains the results of that workspace.